Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to go back and talk about the number 955. And I first covered this number uh, back in uh, May of last year, I believe, with Part 3, Lincoln City, uh, Wormwood, and the Revelation Eclipses. In fact, uh, the number 955 uh, is what prompted me to start narrating my own videos. And we're going to take a quick look and review at the 955 here. And I'm also going to uh, be taking a look at the X eclipses again. Uh, this video is going to be kind of a version 2 of the Phoenix Rises Between the Eclipses video that I did. Uh, but we're going to be talking about the 955, and of course we're going to be looking at Revelation 8.11, the falling Wormwood star. We're going to look at this 33.13 again. We're going to look at Saturn and Venus. And we're going to look at some of the der derivatives of the 24th star number, 33.13, and how that kind of connects everything together. And then we're going to take a look at the two eclipses. Uh, that form the X over the United States. And we're going to take a look at some other uh, landmarks here on Google Earth. Uh, but a quick review of what the 955 is. Uh, there are 404 uh, total verses in the book of Revelation. And if we add 404 minutes to the time of 911, that gets us to 1555 or 955 minutes into the day. 9-11 is 551 minutes. We had our 404 minutes. It's our 9-55. A very important correlation there. Uh, we're also going to be taking a look at the updated calendar that I have for you guys and how that relates to the 9-55. But if you look at the date of 9-11-2001, 12-31-2019, that's 955 weeks after 9-11. So from Christmas to New Year's Eve is 955 weeks after 9-11. A very, very important number. Uh, to this revelation puzzle. Uh, here's a quick, uh, we'll go back to this uh, in a later video when I talk about uh, uh, World War I uh, and some other things here, but here's some 955, here's a couple 955s uh, from the JFK assassination. Uh, he was assassinated on November 22nd, 1963, and this was during and that was during the 955th week after the atomic bombs were dropped on Japan. So the first bomb was dropped on August 6, 1945, and November 22, 1963 falls within the 955th week, as well as the second day. The second bomb was dropped on the 9th. That also falls within the 955th week. And I also have up there the first man in space was Yuri Gagarin. And he was JFK was assassinated on, on the 955th day. So a total span of 955 days after Yuri Gagarin became the first man in space. Uh, JFK was assassinated. Uh, a couple of very uh, inter in interesting connection here with uh, um, the nuclear, the first two, clear, two nuclear bombs used in warfare, and then the first man in space uh, connected to the 955 here. So I want to show you my calendar here, the calendar synchronization, and how that connects uh, with the 955. 
Uh, the first thing I want to show you is the calendar synchronization with the Hebrew calendar and the founding date of the United States. So the United States was founded on July 4th, 1776. And if we add 88,901 days, uh, that would get us to November 29th, 2019. And this is Kislev 1 or 9 1 on the Hebrew calendar. So 7 4 1776 plus 88,901 days. That gives us to November 29th, 2019. Uh, the beginning of the calendar synchronization uh, with the founding date and the Hebrew calendar. And I showed you guys this before, the 88929, which is 1227. So if we add the 88,929 days, that's 1227, 2019. which is 929 on the Hebrew calendar. Uh, just a very important connection here to December of 2019 um, with the calendar synchronization here. And what's interesting about this start of the synchronization on November 29th, 2019, uh, that's the 72nd anniversary of the creation of Israel. Uh, Israel was created uh, by UN Resolution 181 on November 29th, 1947. And the vote was 33 yes and 13 no. Uh, and that was to create Israel, the separation of the Jewish and Arab people. And of course, 3313 goes back to our Revelation 811 connection here with. Revelation 6.12 and Revelation 9.11. And of course, uh, the Star of David or the Star of Remphan, uh, which represents Saturn, uh, is on the flag of Israel. So interesting that it, the calendar synchronization begins on the anniversary uh, of this uh, creation of Israel. Even the UN resolution uh, is a permutation of 811 with the 181 here. So here's the calendar I've been showing you. Um, I'm just going to go through it real quick here. Uh, I've done several videos about World War III starting on 12-22-2019. And what we're looking at here is the equivalent dates on the Julian calendar and the Hebrew calendar. So the Julian calendar is 13 days apart from the Gregorian calendar. And then this year, uh, the Hebrew calendar, the same date on the Hebrew calendar will be the 88th day after the Gregorian date. And then here we are adding an additional 13 days. So straight across here, 1222, all the connections I've shown for 1222, 2019, and World War III are just transferring straight across here to 13 days after 1222 Hebrew date. So everything I, I've shown uh, remains 100% relevant. Uh, it's just shifting across the calendars here. And the 13 days and the 88 day, that has to do with the Great Pyramid of Giza. Uh, the current height of the Great Pyramid is 138.8 meters without its capstone. Uh, and we're going to be talking about the capstone placement here. We're going to be looking at this date on the calendar today, 4-2 or April 2nd, 2020.
April 2nd, 2020 uh, is the 93rd day of 2020, and it's also equivalent to the fourth day of the 14th week of 2020. And that goes back to our connection to Venus. Venus has a visual magnitude of 4.14, a very important number in this puzzle as well. Okay, so we have our 955th week here after 9-11 from Christmas to New Year's Eve. And then all these dates transfer straight across. Then we're looking at the 13th day after, or 13 days after the equivalent Hebrew calendar date. So I said I was going to talk about the X eclipses here in the 955. So we had our Great American Eclipse on August 21st, 2017, and it made landfall in Lincoln City, Oregon. So we're going to take that date, 8-21-2017 to the April 2nd, 2020. And that's 955 days after the Great American Eclipse. And this connects to the Great Pyramid. Remember the Great Pyramid of Giza with its capstone is 481 feet or 146.7 meters. So 4-2-2020, 955 days after the Great American Eclipse and it's 1467 days before the April 8th, 2024 eclipse that forms the X. So we have our time and revelation connection with the 955 and we have our 1467 which is our capstone connection to the Great Pyramid of Giza and it connects to both eclipses here, the X eclipses. So if we go to our map here, we're going to look at Washington, the Washington Monument. We draw a line straight through the Washington Monument, through the World War II Memorial, through the Reflecting Pool, and then through the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, that's going to point directly to Phoenix Island in the Pacific Ocean. And there's a 955 connection here with the Phoenix Island. It's now known as Rewaki Island, uh, but its previous name was Phoenix Island. And it was discovered on February 23rd, 1824. So if you look at that discovery of Phoenix Island in relation to the beginning of World War I, which was on July 28, 1914, Phoenix Island uh, was discovered 90 years, 5 months, and 5 days before World War I. There's our 955 that connects our eclipses. And if we go back here to the Lincoln Memorial, this line here uh, points to Lincoln City.
Lincoln City was the landfall of the 2020 or the August 21st 2017 Great American Eclipse that's where it made landfall Lincoln City and if we draw the line starting at the Lincoln Memorial from the Lincoln Memorial through Arlington Memorial Bridge uh, through the JFK Eternal Flame, uh, that points to the landfall of the 2024 eclipse. Right here, 2024 eclipse, the path of totality, will make landfall. So you can see here that the reflecting pool that points to Phoenix Island uh, splits the location of the two points of landfall for the X eclipses. And that gets our 955 for April 2nd, 2020. Uh, before I forget here, here's one more connection to this calendar I wanted to show you. Uh, if we look here at the 929, uh, this transfers straight across as well. Not only is this date 1227, it's also represented by the 929. So 323, or March 23rd, 2020, is also represented by the 929 date. And we had the Air Force One Manhattan flyby on April 27th, 2009. It was called the Air Force One photo op incident. Uh, although the planes were engaged in a photo op and training exercise, the citizens of New York and New Jersey had not been informed in advance. And some thought it could be the makings of a terrorist attack, similar to the September 11th attacks. Some people ran out of buildings and panicked in the streets. Uh, some buildings ordered evacuations. Uh, this was all a ritual for Air Force One here. Uh, you can see in the photo here that they're flying over the Statue of Liberty. Uh, it's on the 11 pointed star. Um, but 323 2020. So we had our incident on April 27, 2009. 323 2020. That's 569 weeks after the incident. And that connects to the 929. If we look at the time of 929, 929 is 569 minutes. So this 323 date also represents 929, just like it does here, here, and here. Uh, it begins with our calendar synchronization. So straight across the board, everything syncs up. Uh, that's uh, just one example. It's a prime example, but uh, there's some more I could go through later. But that's the best example. Uh, our Air Force One, of course. It's painted in the specific blue that connects to our 3313 star number. The identical blue of 466 nanometers. And for 3313 is the 466th prime. Again, I covered that in another video, but that's why they're using this color blue, they're flying it over the 11 pointed star. The 11 pointed star is the 6 and the 5 combined for a pentagram and our Star of David here. Okay, 
Uh, one more thing here with the pentagram. Uh, you may have seen this before, but this is called the unfinished pentagram of Venus. And I have a line drawn here. This is Tidal Basin uh, in Washington, D.C. And if we look here, the streets form a point and follow this 17th street. And if we follow this line directly through 17th street uh, and go all the way to Hudson Bay, it points to Cotter Island in Hudson Bay. And that's going to connect to a Twin Tower or 9-11 reference. The Twin Towers, the North and South Tower, uh, they also overlooked the Hudson River in New York. We have Cotter Island, Tidal Basin, points directly to Cotter Island. But if we go down here and look, we have what is called the Twin Islands, the North Twin and South Twin Island. And these are both representative of the Twin Towers in New York. And if we look at the Twin Islands here, if you look at the notable landmarks, Cotter Point on the North Twin and Lucy Point on the South Twin. So you have Cotter and Lucy as notable landmarks here. And then Cotter Island. Tidal Basin directly points to Cotter Island. Passes through the unfinished pentagram of Washington, D.C. All connected here. Uh, the Twin Towers, of course, overlook the Hudson River. And Hudson Bay uh, will be the location or the beginning of World War III. So we're going to talk a little bit here about the Great Pyramid Complex or the Pyramid Complex in Egypt and how it's related to the World Trade Center Complex. Now if we go back into uh, antiquity and look at the original heights of the three pyramids, uh, Menkari was 213 feet, Khafre was 471 feet, and Khufu, or Giza with its capstone was 481 feet. And that was a total of 1165 feet for the three pyramids. And remember I showed you guys before uh, that the Egyptian used the duodecimal or base 12 number system. And 1165 is 811 in the base 12 system, which connects us back to our Revelation 811 Wormwood Star. So we have the Great Pyramid of Giza, uh, that's 481 feet with the capstone. And something I want to show you here. We take the fourth prime. The fourth prime is seven. Fourth prime is seven, and the eighty-first prime is four nineteen. So if we multiply seven times four nineteen, that gets us to twenty-nine thirty-three. So the prime factorization here: seven times four nineteen, the fourth and eighty-first prime here for our 481 connection to the Great Pyramid. But if we add this 2933 to the total height of the Great Pyramids here, it's 4,098 feet. And we had World Trade Center 1 at 1,368 feet. World Trade Center 2, 1,362. And then the roof of One World Trade Center uh, 
we measure to the roof it's also 1368 feet which is how the twin towers were measured as well 1362 and 1368 feet to the roof so we'll add our 1368 feet that gets us our 4098 which connects back to the height of the Great Pyramids subtract out the prime factorization representatives of the 481 it gets us back to our height of the Great Pyramids here all three combined and if we go from 9-11-2001 to the opening of the World Trade Center or one World Trade Center it's 4,801 days back to our height of the Great Pyramid so through the math here they're both connecting the Great Pyramid and making a connection here to the pyramid complex so if we were to look at these towers here uh, and 9-11 memorials uh, they're connected to Neptune and this goes along with another 955 I want to show you guys. Uh, the exterior uh, steel facade of the World Trade Centers were shaped like tridents, uh, which is a reference to Neptune. And then we had the 9-11 tribute and light, which the blue beams uh, were in the place of the World Trade Centers. And that connects to our blue planet, Neptune. And Neptune is the capstone or crown on the Tree of Life. And it was discovered on September 23, 1846. And if we compare that to our April 2, 2020 date, April 2, 2020 begins our 9,055th week after the, after the discovery of Neptune. Neptune is our crown or capstone on the Tree of Life. April 2nd is also the day that splits the 955 with the 1467, the height of the pyramid with the capstone. And the crown or the capstone of the tree of life, uh, Neptune, is also called Keter, which means crown. And if we look at the definition here of Keter, it's the topmost separat on the tree of life, and it means crown. It says here Keter is so sublime. It is called in the Zohar the most hidden of all hidden things. I want to show you this. That phrase sums to 311. And it represents the crown, the keter. And I've talked about Chicago in many of my videos, but there's the 311 South Wacker Drive in Chicago. Uh, the Crown Building in Chicago. You can see here the zip code that the building is located in is 60606 or 666. But I've shown many connections to Chicago uh, as a possible location for the Great Earthquake to start or begin. Uh, look on the map here, Chicago, of course. Is located directly on the point of Lake Michigan uh, and directly in the path here of Hudson Bay. All kinds of videos I've done about Chicago, but the crown or the capstone of the Tree of Life is represented by the 
311 South Wacker Drive in Chicago. Something very big is going to happen in Chicago uh, in the same time frame here. One more thing I want to show here with the capstone of the Great Pyramid. Uh, the capstone is also called a Pyramidion. And if we look at the Wikipedia page for the Pyramidion, find it here. The Pyramidion is the capstone of a pyramid. If you look at the creation of the Pyramidion Wikipedia page, it was on August 5th, 2005. We'll look at our 4 2 2020 date. We're going to include the end date. You can see it's 1467% of a common year. So our Pyramidion capstone reference, Wikipedia itself. As the capstone of the completed pyramid with the 1467 connection on April 2nd, 2020, as well. One more thing here I want to show you about this Phoenix Island that connects to April 2nd, also. You can see Phoenix Island is contained within this triangle here. And on each point of this triangle uh, is a monument, the Marianas Trench Monument, the Pacific Remote Island Monument, and the Rose Atoll Monument. Remember the Rose connects to Venus. But these three monuments were dedicated by George Bush on January 6th, 2009. And of course, George Bush is a member of the Skull and Bones Society, graduate of the Yale Skull and Bones in 1948, George Bush who dedicated the Pacific Ocean Monuments on January 6, 2009. So if we look at that date, January 6, 2009, we're going to look at Neptune. Neptune was at 322 on the ecliptic longitude on that date. So that's why they dedicated them in the Pacific Ocean, because Neptune, of course, is the god of the sea. Mr. Skull and Bones, George Bush, 322 with the ecliptic longitude of Neptune. And if we connect it to that date of April 2nd, you can see it's 4,104 days. And that connects back to our visual magnitude of Venus. So we have Venus and Neptune references both. Remember, Venus is the rose, and one of the monuments was the Rose Atoll. Uh, a very detailed ritual to dedicate those three monuments that encompass Phoenix Island. And if we follow this path here from Phoenix Island back to the Washington Monument, we go by Washington Island. You can see Washington Island. The line also passes through Christmas Ridge. So a lot of work went into... Um, Uh, 
that ritual there with Neptune and Venus. Let's see here. What else can I show you guys with that date? Um, uh, remember also that Hudson Bay uh, is part of Arctic Ocean Subdivision 911. And one of the first things that turned me on to Hudson Bay uh, was this U.S. Airways Flight 1549. That crashed on January 15, 2009 into the Hudson River. And we had our 95 minor and 5 serious injuries for our 955 connection. But if we look at this date of the Hudson River crash of the U.S. Airways flight here, if we look at that, that was 585 weeks before April 2nd, 2020. And that connects to uh, the beginning of the study of earthquakes, early speculations on the natural causes of earthquakes were included in the writings of Thals of Miletus in 585 BC. This 585 is an earthquake number. Uh, one more thing here I want to show you with this uh, Pyramidion you can see here that the original creator of the Wikipedia page here for the Pyramidion was Gene Poole which is a DNA reference and I've always shown this but the combined distance between the Revelation 6.12 and Revelation 9.11 it's 46 verses, which is a reference to DNA, the 46 chromosomes, 23 from each parent, just like the Twin Towers, out of two, we got the One World Trade Center. Okay guys, um, in the next video, I'm going to do this date right here. 331 2020 which is our 1222 date when you come across the board here uh, I'm going to look at this uh, as World War III the beginning of World War III I might combine it with 325 uh, this date connects to the emergency alert system uh, World War III and then we're going to take a look at this date April 5th probably do these two dates together uh, 325 and 331. Remember 325 is the magic square of Mars. The magic square of Mars sums to 325. A lot to cover here. I just want to make the point though that this calendar that I have, we're just transferring these dates straight across especially here from the 955th week after 9-11 connects to our 955 with the Neptune and we have our 955 with the eclipses great pyramid connection a lot of stuff going on here uh, in March mid-March uh, to the beginning of April okay guys uh, thanks for watching